I have everything pulled out to make the butter mayo. I was just watching Chris's video to make sure I got the technique correct. First thing I'm gonna do is put my butter, oh, I'm going to make a double batch. Hopefully that won't mess up the whole chemistry, um, but I was thinking just being able to do a whole cup of butter would be nice. So I am going to put my cup stick of butter in um, my glass container and then put it in the microwave to heat up. Here is the butter. And he said the butter should be around 140 to 145 degrees, I believe. So let's see what it's at right now. Oh yeah, 190 so. Should be down to temp by the time I get these other ingredients prepped. Okay, I'm gonna separate my eggs. You wanna separate the whites from the yolks. I'm just gonna use my hand here. Put my yolks down into my jar. And these are our home laid eggs. So I feel very confident with um, how healthy they are and no problem with eating them raw. And even the hot butter is supposed to cook the eggs a little bit, not all the way, but it'll cook them a little bit. But I am perfectly happy eating raw eggs from our own chickens, um, as long as they look fine, as long as they're not, you know, smelly or rotten. Definitely wouldn't eat that cooked or raw. Next, we're gonna add the apple cider vinegar. He calls for Dijon mustard, which I do not have, but I have this horseradish mustard, so I think I'm gonna use that. And a pinch of salt. Blender on medium speed to combine well, 15, 10 to 15 seconds. And then add the butter one to two tablespoons at a time, blending 10 to 15 seconds each time in between each addition. All right, temp is down to 145, so we are gonna get going on this. All right, can we just admire how beautiful that looks, first of all? So yellow, that um, butter is super yellow because it's grass-fed, and then the egg yolks are super yellow because they're free-range chickens. Whew. Okay, so the apparently the magic of this that makes it spreadable in the fridge is that you add the egg whites now. Normally when I make uh, mayo with avocado oil, I'll put the whole egg in the bottom, and do this whole thing with the entire egg. But separating the egg white from the yolk apparently is the magic. So it says add egg white on top of the thick mayo, blend five to 10 seconds to combine, blend an additional 10 seconds on high speed. Mayo will be a little frothy and somewhat runny. Then you refrigerate and it sets up in the refrigerator. So I'm gonna add my whites on top. So I'm gonna blend five to 10 seconds on the medium speed and then increase it to high. All right, let me get a spatula. So it is definitely runny at this point, but in the fridge it's supposed to set up nicely. So I'm excited to see how it turns out. It's like a salad dressing consistency at this point. All right, into the fridge this goes, and I'm excited to try it probably for late lunch or dinner when it's all the way cool. Ooh, it's so beautiful. So check this out. It's still soft. As far as mayo goes, um, it's pretty flowy, but I think that's better than solid out of the fridge. But it'd be a perfect base for like salad dressing. So I just licked my finger and this stuff is really good. The flavor is amazing. I can tell you this butter mayo is super good. I'm imagining all kinds of like dressings, dressings and sauces with it. It is so delicious. And I'm not a huge mayo fan. Like, I'm not just one of those that puts mayo on anything. It has to be part of like a dressing, but this is good enough that I would just use it as it is. Mm. This is a good meal.